Hello and welcome my friends, we're back with T1 facing against D plus Kia Gaming and uh, what the hell I already see six on the enemy team uh, I don't know, we're watching the highlights, I overslept, sorry but uh, yeah, I mean the official editing is probably much better than uh, my lousy attempts at making some interesting videos. Regardless, let's get in and take a look at the draft. We are again cooking with some wild bot lane picks. We're currently in a swap. Uh, we have swapped away from the Zix lane. So uh, that's just uh, free turret plate money for the Zix. And uh, yeah, we have also swapped before, what is it, 8 minutes, 10 minutes something. So we didn't get a single turret plate in top lane. We just have to hope that, oh wait, actually that Guma gets away here. He has so many dashes, he has so many flashes with the heal. We get away, but uh, yeah, this early game already starting on a back foot. We have the one and only, yeah. Okay, he gets away, that was pretty uh, spicy. We have the Corky uh, Maokai, that's pretty strong. They have the Vi Zix combo, so okay. Uh, owner didn't get the W timing right, but it's okay. Wow, ni nice mechanics, Lucid. Eing the the ward for the AOE. But uh, yeah, I I agree. It, it's a bit of a disaster. Game number uh, one already looks like shit. Um, like I mean, our bot lane is pretty cool. Um, this is uh, something that can cook, but. I don't know. Oh, Satchel has been used uh, for disengage. That means the turret will live, at least for a couple more moments. But yeah. Oh, okay. One for one trade, and the turret lives for a bit more, like giving us time to to do this. King in here has Megana coming up, and there's also a TP. Even with the Meow Kai, uh, yeah, we get away, but okay, we get the flash, we get the turret. That's okay. Nice uh, move there by Zeus. Overall, I, I, yeah, my, my friends, I think, uh, uh, it, I don't think it's Jover. I think there's, uh, like, some playable aspects, but falling behind, actually, it's just 1k. It's just 1k. We have the first dragon, um, but, uh, yeah, it's just the average problem of, actually, our AD carry also has, wait, what? Then how are we losing the, okay, I was thinking that's just okay they have three TPs and that's why they can play the map better right they're cheating with the extra TP uh, this is something that happens obviously quite frequent uh, yeah yeah he just gets say change the seat and just wow carriers old comes in clutch but that's about it faker or oh, he gets the split second flash there away from the RR combo but we don't have any damage at this point right yeah like, their damage at this point in the game is just, like, so much higher. Sure, Zix does not one-shot, but, like, he's annoying enough. We don't have, like, that much magic resistant. Showmaker just controls the fight. Lucid and uh, Kingen. Even though Kingen doesn't have his first item complete, it's like, uh, he's like an AD carry with just a better stat profile or a better base stat profile. And, uh, yeah, I mean, our champions, they just need some more time, right? Boo! Wow! Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you like T1 content. Back to the video. Ah, whatever. Let's just see. Okay, Zeus goes in. Doesn't get the right angle for the old rough. But, uh, well, okay. Again, we ha just have to stall out the game. 6,000 gold deficit here at 25 minutes is not where we want to be. Um, especially now, they, like, look at the space control they have potentially access to, right? Talia and uh, Zix. It's like well, there's no way to step up to any objective here. And uh, yeah, our comp doesn't have more range than them. We just hope that we can run into them. Okay, nice W timing there by Ona. It avoids the old damage. Zeus does Cassante things, but it's just maybe enough to get away, but that's about it. Overall, it seems we might get away. Moam is looking, Moam is looking. Lucid has the old. Maybe have overstepped. We still have zero damage. Uh, yeah, we lose the turret, we lose the Baron. We don't lose any lives, right? But, yeah. Ah, um, uh, It's just, uh, just a bit cringe. I can't even say it's like this or that. I think DK just played really well. They played the map uh, quite good, and obviously they knew that they were stronger at, uh, 
yeah, the, like, what is it, early mid-game situations, right? 20, no, not 20, 15th minute and something like that. Uh, yeah, they're also then, like, I mean, not only are you stronger, you also need to play it uh, correctly, right? Because they're not stronger by, like, a lot, a lot, just by a good amount. So, uh, yeah, DK, mm, it's a bit scary, a bit scary, right? Look at the items. We are at two items at best. Uh, we need still a couple more. Uh... Okay, that's uh, just cringe, but uh, <laughs> I, I, I imagine playing dodgeball, but your field is like half the size or something. Jeez, that's uh, what Talia Wall does to you. Regardless, okay, owner pops uh, the meow meows. Moam here is being attacked, but it's like we don't have any damage, man. Ay, ay, ay. We are, I mean, we have one kill. We have a couple of good CS, if I saw that one correctly just there. But it's like, look at the turrets. We have three turrets, which is okay, but against seven, right? Obviously, we're 9,000 gold behind. Again, here we take another look. The CS is not bad. The CS is not bad. Wait, what? Owners. Oh my. Flash W didn't work. I, uh... And here again, it's like they just stand there. Like, they, they can't take their time with the Baron, right? Because they have so much, like, control here around the area. Kingen can just jump there. Okay, there comes the teleport of uh, Zeus, I assume. Yeah. Fake actually, it's double teleport. Okay, so there is the Baron. We, uh, yeah, Kingen is bye bye. But that's about it. They're pinging mid lane. They're pinging. Oh, bot lane. They have a wave. Actually, if they stop the recalls, Zix can end the game. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my god, Gumayushi. No, 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 no. Hey, 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 hey. Faker is now recalling. No, they end the game. Lucid stops this. Nah, man. Ah, uh, Zix is OP as fuck. Zix is so fucking powerful. Like we are trying every like like idea here. At least look, we banned uh, Smolder. That's great. But ay ay ay, man. This this aiming champion. Uh, what <laughs> this champion aiming was playing is just crazy. But the combination of Talia. Um, also adding into the mix just generates so much more space and so, so much more protection for Zix to do his thing. And then you have like a, like an engaged top laner kinda and an engaged support. It's just wild. Uh, obviously the Vi zix combo, you don't need to mention. Here again, what do we have? We have a bit weird. We have the Zix. Uh, obviously Guma the only uh, player to lose with Zix uh, in the relevant leagues, let's call it. And let's see. Oh my, oh my, oh my. That was close. Yeah. I just, I'm not excited for Gangplank to come back into the meta, but he's a champion that at least can somewhat, uh, somewhat, somewhat play with lane swaps. Okay, 2 0 lead. <sighs> Brief. Great. Our mid laner has cult here. We're scaling. That also means maybe let's not force every fight. Actually, we'll just take neutral objectives for free. Wait, what the hell? Well, I guess bot lane is completely neutralized, right? Um, and like top lane, like their top laner is scaling, the mid laner is scaling. So uh, yeah, DK also not the the most uh, insensitive, insensitive, whatever, uh, to to start fights uh, at this point in the game right now. We have two neutrals, two kills. Uh, we, we shot the grubbers, right? That's fine. Six grubbers is a bit wild. Guma here getting completely uh, attacked and uh, he falls down on the other side our top lane also falls down wait a moment maybe we have split up a bit too much two for one who died oh lucid okay so that's that i don't know about this matchup that they uh, okay hero carrier double q or oh, does already use q i guess zeus ult decent decent there come the meow meows and guma again gets killed by king and it's just so sad this Kingen guy, man, he was only Trinity, but he's just doing so much already. Ay, ay, ay. Wait, Carrier also died there? To ignite or what? Okay. Oh my. Let's see. No, they're just both dead. Owner gets the last one, but ay, 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 man, what the hell? It's like, what? He only has Trinity Force, but this Gangplank is completely running it. Like, obviously our champions also need some time to scale up, so it's not like early game champion versus uh, early game gangplank and we're losing, but... 
Regardless, let's see. Harold obviously with Zex pretty strong. We need to be a bit more cohesive, right? We're not on uh, five playmaking champions, right? We need a bit more unity in our approach. Otherwise, uh, uh, the enemy team comp will again get into the gaps and uh, it just screw with us. Not sure what owner was thinking, like how can we defend this turret? They have a uh, rotation from AD carry in mid and whatsoever and whatsoever. Well, again, we're leading in gold, but that's about it for the for the positive news. Okay. There's like no one here. So it's Leandris Maokai versus Faker. Faker doesn't have the most mana, but he just kills him. Well, you know, like kills him like that, like that. Ezreal comes around. Fringe. That was a fair one we won. Anyway, we killed Showmaker on the side as well. So uh, yeah, two for one. We take it, we take it. Again, the gold lead, not too outstanding. Owner just recalls in the enemy jungle. But I guess it's the biggest bait ever because we put the circles and we put them over DK and that leads DK uh, to die. Very nice. Three kills, five Trinity forces in the game. Very nice. Tons of damage, like someone else would say. Okay, Lucid comes in. Hello, can we kill this Lucid? Ah, uh, Blead. Bro, King get, get, got zero damage from the uh, Mega Inferno Bomb. What the hell? Yo, Kingen is 1v9, man. Kingen is so 1v9 in this game. Absolutely insane, man. What the fuck was in his breakfast bowl? Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Zeus will more or less get away. Have they overstepped? Well, they used a uh, Maokai ult before Dragon. So uh, that's interesting. Might be uh, able to get that one. Uh, ay ay ay, come on. Like this standoff is what we're good at. Sure, they have some engage, but it shouldn't really matter. There's Zeus, okay, Mawam should die. Put the circles, put the circles down. Nah, it's just so wild. Zeus will be able to get away. Nah, maybe not overforce. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe let's not run into Meowkai gangplank and so on and so on. Ay ay ay. Okay, cancel the back. Have fun with that. Faker gets hooked. Faker gets comboed. Will he be able to get away? No is the answer. Ay ay ay. The CC chain is wild. Good thing Carrier's back was cancelled. Otherwise we might be in big trouble here. Uh, We are still in big trouble. Okay. Flash from owner as well. Man, what a mad overstay in top lane. Okay. There's the flash onto Guma. Just dies to 1Q. Absolutely wild. Death timers are decently long. The whole connects. Ah oh, man, no, no, no. Could they finish on this? Thirty seconds. Oh no, no. Come on. No way. We just we were so fine until we weren't. Nah. Okay, Fakers respawn. Ten seconds. No, fifteen seconds on Guma. Okay. Luckily they. I mean they have a wave now. They could probably have over overforced it, but. Top inhibitor is not the worst thing, honestly. Oh, 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 oh. Let's see, let's see. There's the TP. Owner finds the enemy team. There's the bomb. It does no damage, man. Check Guma items, man. He's vegan build or something, man. He does zero damage, man. And it enemy team six would have gotten a pentacle there. But okay, let's see. Carrier goes in. But that's about it. We have nothing more to force, and now we have to be careful not to uh, be too crazy here. Zeus here gets W'd again. Damn. Okay, he goes in. If we get King in, that's huge. Faker just goes in. Does some damage, but in the end, Zeus gets the last hits. Zeus gets another one. Nice flash. Maybe he would have looked for a predict. Oh, Zeus, another pentakill. Come on, Lucid, don't be cringe. Come on. Lucid, don't be cringe. Lucid is Omega cringe. Cringe. Give Penta, come on. Give Penta for the reverse sweep or something. But now we will end because we have Trinity Force users and the one and only. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Zix. So Zix, 100% uh, ban rate, uh, pick rate, and 100% uh, uh, win rate. Maybe the champion is uh, OP. Like, Guma didn't even have two items, it feels like. He only had... Uh, it feels like 
I mean, I think he had two items, but I'm blind. Regardless, he didn't have three items because he was still building Rabadons. Zig still has most damage in the game. Uh, absolutely, uh, yeah, overpowered champion. Let's see. So Smolder is banned. Zix is not banned, so Zix is picked. They don't B1 Zix? Did they B1 Maokai or something? I don't know. Uh, Showmaker with Ignite Teleport. Okay, let's see. Uh, interesting game, interesting game. Obviously, I think it's an insta win because like we have Zix and the enemy team does not. Uh, yeah. Very nice, very clean. Actually, let's uh, crack open a cold one while we spectate owner absolutely uh, balling it. Very nice. A cold one while watching T1 play well. I jinxed it. I, I jinxed it, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's on me. So Faker picks up a kill. That's very huge. Carrier might be able to get away. Next W comes up, so never mind. Two for one. Rough. Could be worse. Zeus Yon. Okay. Faker here finds the Lucid. But you can't really overstay there, right? But yeah, okay. And anyway, uh, Zeus on Yon. Pretty nice, pretty nice. And since we have the Zix, if the enemy team ever swaps, right, to... Oh, stop the carry! Okay, 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 man, Lucid. I don't know what he said, but uh, T1 is out to get him, man. T1 is out to get him. King in this game also, and not on the Gangplank, on the measly... Uh, what's his name? Oh my, oh my. Oh my, oh my. <laughs> T1 just walks around. La 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 and just kills them just kills them no response because bot lane there's Zix who just insta deletes waves and i mean what's um uh, leblanc going to do in mid lane just push them uh, push the tower or something uh, before the passive uh, falls off okay zeus here ults the wave or something uh and he, yeah he just rebinds goes back and that's fine guma here pops the bomb 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 does zero damage goes in again with the what is it? Other thing? And uh, yeah, a bit wild. Faker gets kinda caught. Flash for flash. The Bramble Smash is enough. Uh, Zeus continues to dive. Owner might be a bit too far forward. E doesn't miss. Uh, e what the hell am I saying? E doesn't land. Okay, okay. I mean, it's okay. Oh wait, TP comes in, TP comes in from the show. Um, Maker. But uh, yeah, this game obviously a bit scrappy. Um, we kind of benefit from that. Obviously our top lane champions or top side champions are pretty good in these scrappy situations. Zix honestly as well. Like honest team fights are a bit scary for Zix sometimes. Uh, right, he, he just wants to spam abilities from range. Uh, if there are less members involved, he can obviously be a bit more brazen with his uh, commitment, right? Wing forward and whatever. I... Poor Guma. He goes for... Um, oh my god, what's the item? Xeroths, this game. Makes sense, right? Versus Kingen, especially versus Showmaker. You just don't want to uh, die. Let's see, Zeus should be able to get over the wall. Yes. Uh, but yeah, obviously the scrappy stuff is pretty nice. Um, both bot laners or both AD carries can just safely chill, right? Due to range and wave clear possibilities. Um, but this is also playing kind of into Showmaker, right? Uh, like a LeBlanc wants scraps. She doesn't want lane swap into chill and to whatever. Ooh, nice W. Um, but yeah, Harold traded for Dragon. It's okay, right? Obviously, they will hard commit for uh, what is it, Harold? Because we have Zix in our team. You don't want to give that over like at any point. But regardless, uh, they get Harold. We get first blood turret. Faker. Okay, okay, respectable. Let's see, Kingen dive, yes, some defensive tools, but it's not enough. There's a nice flash, but... What? Well, I guess... Uh... Okay, yeah, pretty pretty well done by Showmaker. I uh, was not seeing his damage being that high. What am I... Oh my god, my English is so bad. That happens when you uh, oversleep, you lose your mental functions. Anyway, uh, yeah, they land some CC, but the follow-up is just not there. Obviously, we're also in a numbers advantage uh, situation here. And now, let's just uh, execute the president out where 
Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Overall 5k the lead, right? Objective bounties have spawned for the opposing squad before 20 minutes here. Uh, pretty interesting. Zeus here, he gets the wave. We get TPs coming in as well. I mean, damn, is that a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Let's see actually builds here, Faker, Guma, where are they at uh, in terms of items? Decent cleanse, get the summoner spell there. Faker dashes forward onto Showmaker and owner locks it down just like at level two. Okay, Faker already two items plus Hex Drinker, right? Can't afford the luxury, right? Due to him being ahead. Put the gold graph away. I want to see six items, six, two items, right? Horizon focus locked in. That probably was the item I didn't uh, see, saw, whatever. In the last game um and yeah like showmaker just can't do shit it's like he jumps there jumps there but uh just not working out faker man faker's back what the hell game number one honestly yeah i don't know oh, he was so much damage i mean faker gets ahead and then he's just a monster right ah uh, yeah yeah game number one was a bit messy maybe i should have paid paid more attention i was kind of shell-shocked to be honest uh, 1,500 kills. Very nice, Guma. Uh, has half as many kills as Faker. Faker has like 3,000 something, right? Okay, get some flashes from Lucid. And uh, yeah, I mean, we got the Baron. 23 minutes, a bit late for us. But I guess with all the scaling, that's the, that's the matter. Behind this wall, there's a, a King Gun. But uh, yeah, it's not enough carrier. Yeah, just tanky enough. Wild. And uh, yeah, even more, I'm like super good rel, right? Remember the, uh, what series was that? Was that DK Fox? Or who, who was it against? Uh, regardless, like his rel is fucking crazy, but like he's not getting to do, uh, I can't speak. He's not able to do any uh, of his plays, right? His team is in no situation to follow up. Look at this man, 4 No, not the gold clap. Put it away, I want to see the items, please. Oh, okay, we get another fight here. Meow meows being spread, curtain call. Pretty nice combo, but like, it's just not on the same level as... Uh... Okay, Zeus, maybe go back. Ooh, W connect. But uh, yeah, Zeus just buys so much space. Uh, so portal combat, you can just chill, no? No. Yo, he hits him with the Zeus emote. Okay. Okay. Ay, 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 Zeus, that's not okay. They are, Zeus, that's cringe. You don't do that. Nah. I mean, obviously, good delay the, right, the death timer and so on and so on. But that was an honorable 1v1. You don't do these things. Regardless, uh, yeah, this game is uh, Jover, right? We're not going to say the uh, the line of uh, there's no way we can uh, and so on and so on. Uh, we're not jinxing it anymore, but uh, yeah, we have uh, Hextech Soul with Zix. Like, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's wild. That was just interactive gaming. Again, the uh, ultimate uh, Aram experience, right? You play champion, the enemy team has like any poke and you just die. Uh, yeah, so very nice, very well done. Um, I'm not too sure how much I like how they approach the like earlier stages of the game. Uh, right, handshaking fights with uh, Showmaker LeBlanc, right? Obviously she was already put behind due to Faker and Owner's uh, nice 2v2 plays. Um, so that's that. And it helped. Zeus get ahead and so on and so on and it um, and all the action on the top side created like a area of peace uh, around bot wait we are too low wait it's already match point what and I, th I thought the series just started what it's already 2-1 already three games have been played these highlights they go just brr, it's just so fast so much action so much fun uh, we have Zeus versus Kingen Playing Corky Nara top lane. Faker on Azir, you know he's going to find all the roads. It's going to be, uh, yeah, just a uh, game. Okay. Before we make some uh, more jokes, Moam's Rel just gets uh, fourth shot hex executed. Uh, yeah, nice. No Ziggs, no Smolder. We can have uh, a fair game of League of Legends. 
right? Because no one has like a Z tier champion. Sure, they have Maokai, Koki in the top side. Um, man, Zeus Nar is crazy. Uh, so yeah, 4 0 at uh, 7 minutes. Um, G or GG? You, you. Nice timing. Ah, uh, so good. Yet he, uh, does he get one of the kills? Yes, he gets one. So, uh, yeah, nice, nice. Overall, uh, yeah, <laughs> a fed uh, owner is also nice, right? Vice is, uh, what is it again? <laughs> What's the item again? Uh, Solari, uh, early, very nice, right? More shielding. Let's hope that Faker can have another good game, right? Uh, people have been criticizing, people have been uh, flaming. And uh, yeah, this is, uh, I don't know what DK thought, right? Uh, Maybe they thought uh, Zeus didn't spot it, but ah uh, yeah yeah. Regardless, move, man. Showmaker wants to move, but yeah. Okay, owner. La 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 la. Owner. Regardless, uh, maybe Faker can finish him off, right? He's recalling on a ward. Faker goes in. Uh. Just has to be careful of the Q, but uh, yeah. Guma, Ripperino. Oh, actually, no. Lucid is not fast enough. Oh, now he expends the flash. And uh, yeah, so they get one. T1 gets summoner spells and gets kills and gets even more kills. Eight and one. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, uh, Kingen, like, had such a great. Yeah, Kingen had such a great. What was it? Was it game number one? Where they were like piss chilling? No, it was game number two, I think, where he played Gangplank. Man, his Gangplank was crazy. But uh, yeah, this one is just la 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 la, 0-3, cocky. They dive Guma and I mean, oh, bleat. But, uh, ah, yeah. yeah, this uh, this Yone guy, man, he's so slippery. But okay, it's okay, we can lose one. Oh, wait, Faker. Wait, what? Uh, I mean, Zeus just looking for a solo kill here. Uh, gets kind of cucked by the minions as well. Guma here. This is an O3 cocky that just attacks our AD carry like that. Unfair. Q, Q, and pump. Very nice. Curtain call this and that. Uh, yeah, Faker getting caught. That's not what we want to see. I want to see if Faker open up all the roads, right? Be the, I don't know, road officer, policeman or something. Not sure. Moam here kind of gets caught again. Damn, he's squishy. Probably didn't get to proc his uh, Aftershock. Ah. I mean, he has the stopwatch, so it's kind of okay. Well, it's not. Yeah, he doesn't want to flash away. Ah, uh, Shiba. Might understandable, right? If you get lucid here, like Drake is uh, secured, but uh, yeah, he's looking for like all kinds of roads. He wants to be a pathfinder or something. Okay, give over the second Drake. It's not a disaster, right? Infernal Drake, obviously, it's Infernal Drake, right? Get mid lane turret here with the charge and auto attack or something. Okay, we don't get the uh, fourth shot from Jin. Ah, it's okay. Anyway, we need to calm down a bit, right? We started pretty good, but then went a bit too messy, right? Uh, Zeus doesn't get the last auto attack off. That's cringe. Man, that's amazing. So great. I, uh, Faker here again. Caught in the side lane. I mean, he has the flash, but again, it's just, uh, yeah. I mean, there's a reason, right? Meow Kai is just uh, something else. These champions, like, that's, like, how, I mean, Asia even has ult, he has a shuffle, right? Uh, not shuffle, he has, like, his E. He has all these uh, tools to get away, and, like, he still gets caught. Sure, Faker's positioning might be a bit suspicious. We don't see the start of this place, right? So that's one thing for sure. Um, okay. Nice. Um, right? Like, Azia is like, even 
a bit more mobile. Like, how do you expect to play, uh, like, mages right now? Not only are their items shit, uh, like, it's just unplayable, right? They get destroyed in lane by these AD carry picks. And, like, they can't play the fucking uh, side lane at all. Meow Kai just presses R and they all die, right? Uh, so, yeah. Okay, carrier, just headbutts Lucid, and that should be it. Okay, uh... Quite messy. Oh no, not again. Okay, Guma gets the Baron, but uh, yeah, messy. Quite messy. Ay, ay, ay. It's not what we need. Let's uh, check items. Anything suspicious? Oh, five kills on owner. I see. Well, he's the tankiest piggy around. We find Lucid here. That's a nice tree. Yum, yum, yum. Moam here is in our back. But, yeah, that was, uh, yeah, very fucking close from uh, destroying us all. Faker again misses old. He misses so many olds in recent days. It's so wild. We, we, we win the game, we win the series, we sh Do we qualify to Worlds with this? Oh, fuck, I don't remember the exact points you get for uh, third place. But, uh, yeah. Okay, T1, 3-1. Uh, I think we just repeat the the script from spring or something uh, Yeah, uh, a bit of a messy game, but at least we had a game right no six no smolder means actual gameplay matters um, Banning smolder on blue side is a bit sus, but whatever uh, Yeah Is it a nothing to see here? I think it is it, a, a major improvement from the last one uh, just being able to pick six ban smolder like stepping up your game by, by this very important degree, right? Uh, these champions are just not not okay, and uh, T1 just ignored them in the Hunger Life series. As such, the games were non-games for most part. Uh, not saying that the gameplay was oh T1 T1 played so so good, but the opponent had broken champions. That's why we lost. Sadly, that's not the case, right? Game three, where we had the good champions and still lost, um, is still concerning, right? And we saw glimpses of that in this series as well. Where we just overforce even though we can chill or we just have to be a bit more respectful and uh yeah this game st still go a bit crazy obviously um highlights like completely underline this as well we don't see the 20 minutes of farming we just see the kills and the action so maybe my perception might be a bit screwed in that this uh in that department but it was great we won now we have to face hunger life uh next week and uh yeah then get ready for genji hopefully because uh you just have to t1 genji it's inevitable so uh yeah hope you enjoyed take care my friends and we see each other soon with more t1 content bye bye